Hey everyone, it's Black and White with Gray. I'm Alex Gray, and I've got another flashlight for you here today. Now, this is not actually a flashlight, but a headlamp. This is the HM61R from Phoenix, and this is a utility flashlight if I've ever seen one before. This one does it all. First and foremost, it's a good headlight, but very quickly, you can take it out and it becomes a flashlight. Easy enough to take with you, put in your pocket, magnetic tail base. All right, now some things I like about it. The right angle allows you to have a couple of different things. First of all, it gives you the headlamp that you can use because if it was on the end, of course, it would just be a flashlight, but it still allows you to take it out and use it as a flashlight. And also, I really hate power buttons that are on the sides of flashlights. And because of the right angle LED, that allows them to put the magnetic tail base here and the power button on the top as well. So this is something you can slide in your pocket without worrying about it being turned on by accident. Now, if you're really worried about it being turned on by accident, there is a lockout feature as well, which I'll show you if you double click, you get those little flashes there and now it's not gonna work. But when you double click again, turns on to low automatically, and you know you're ready to go back to working again. The way that you get through the modes of the headlamp is that simply a half a second of holding the button, you turn it on, that goes into the white, and of course it's whatever setting you left it at. Then for another second and a half or so, it'll switch into the red modes, and for both of those white and red modes, a single click will go through the different brightness levels. One thing I really like about this headlamp is the inclusion of the red LEDs, which flank the white LEDs if you look through the lens. There are three brightness levels, one for low, one for high, and one for flashing. The low is one lumen, the high is five lumens, and the flashing is that same five lumens as the high. Now I have the HL60R, and I love that headlamp. It's my go-to for all sorts of projects outside. But my one complaint about it is that the red LEDs on that are abysmally dim, and they just do not really give you any benefit at all. The HM61R, the red LEDs are much brighter, without being blindingly bright, of course. And using them to night work is, is absolutely amazing. It's a great addition. I really, really like how they did it in this headlamp. And of course, with those red LEDs and the magnetic tail base, that turns it into a perfect car light. If you're broken down on the side of the road or uh, trying to catch someone's attention, just snap it right on top of your car, put it on the hood or the, or the trunk, everyone's gonna see that you're there and they'll be able to stop and help if you need it or stay out of your way if you're just looking for safety. This light is IP68, which means that it's dust and waterproof up to, I believe, two meters. It has a 3,500 milliamp hour battery in the tail, which is removable, by the way, too. I really like rechargeable batteries that you can take out so you can have a couple with you and swap if you need to, so that's very nice. The magnetic charger is really good. I've heard it's not proprietary, meaning that you could get a magnetic style charger from another brand and it would work, but even if it's not proprietary, I will say it's definitely not common and standard, so it's not as convenient as like the micro USB or USB-C that Phoenix is putting in some of their new ones, but I'm sure that they did it to save space because this light is extremely compact. And uh, with that consideration and everything else that's going into this, I can understand that and appreciate that. But it does have a nice click. You've got a light right on top of the charger so you can see what's going on and what charge status it's at. And overall, great build quality on the cable. And talking about the power button brings me to a point that I don't really want to talk about, but I need to, which is that the power button on this headlamp is not good. Now, every Phoenix light I've had before this, up to this point, has been great. Power buttons are awesome. They have a great tactile feedback. Even my other headlamps that I've tried and owned, they are usually a very, very good tactile feel. This one, it's very spongy. It, it doesn't have a great feel in the hand, but the worst part about it, and the thing that makes it um, almost too much to handle, is the fact that you actually can get false positive clicks. There are places, and I'll try to show you in a video here, where you can click the light, you can push the power and feel a click or a snap, and it's actually not engaging.
I don't know how it's designed under the rubber. I haven't lifted up the flaps or anything and checked it out. But if there was one thing I would say that Phoenix needs to change about this light, it's definitely the power button. And I don't want you to go into owning one without realizing that it's a little finicky. When you have just plain fingers, it's, it's fine. If you have gloves, it might be a little difficult in like a winter setting, because we're here in winter in Maine right now, to actually feel that button and get a good click out of it. So be aware of that. Uh, nothing against Phoenix as a brand. They always have great lights and they always have great, um, they always have great power buttons. But on this one in particular, they, they probably could go back to the drawing board a little bit and uh, rework that. I'm gonna go outside now and show you some beam shots. And I'm gonna be comparing it against an LD30, which is the other new flashlight with the TIR optic and my older HL60R headlamp for kind of an apples to apples comparison on a flashlight and a headlamp, which is what this is trying to be both of. Now we're outside with the lights. Here are the HL60R. This is eco, then low, now medium, high, and then we also have turbo. Again, that's my old headlamp. Now here's the new HM61R for eco, very low here. Then low, medium, high, and then turbo for that 1200 lumens. Look at that. So back to HL60R, then the HM61. Now I have the LD30 as a comparison for a flashlight. This is Eco, Low, Medium, High, and Turbo. You can notice it's got much of a more spot. And then we have the headlamp, the HM61 at 1200 lumens. compared to the LD30 at 1600. So we'll switch back and forth between the two real quick here. We're gonna do the HM. Oh, let me get that set. We've got the uh, HM and then the LD, the HM. Then the LD. Then for a quick little bonus shot here, we've got a high flying shot from my drone, simulating what it would be like if you took a little night walk in the woods. So I post all of my reviews on my flashlight review website. I'll leave the link down in the description, as well as a link where you can buy it from phoenixlighting.com. They have great prices. They match Amazon's prices, so don't think you're gonna be cheating them out and going to Amazon for a better price. They have good deals there, great shipping, great customer service. So go over there. I'll leave a link for this one in particular and also for the LD30 and the HL60R, which is what I was referencing in my beam shot videos. But that's all I have for you guys today. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Go over to my website, which is alexgray.info. And also uh, subscribe if you wanna see, like I said, that LD30 review, which is coming up soon and that will be out on my channel as well. So thank you guys. This is Black and White with Gray. I appreciate your time. Have a good night.